Right. Then uh, today our topic is to learn about the pure mathematics for the implicit differentiation. Uh, so basically, we know that if you want to differentiate x to the power n, the answer is n x to the power n minus one. But this is not the perfect answer for that. Exact answer for this would be if you want to differentiate x to the power n. Answer is n x to the power n minus one into again you have to differentiate this part further. That is dx by dx. What would be the answer for dx by dx to that? Dx by dx is one. One. Is that clear? Right. Yes. Yes, okay. Then what you need to understand is that that is why you get the answer. d by dx of x to the power n is equals to n x to the power n minus one. So this was the answer where we have obtained in our O level and IGCSE level and as well as our AS level. So this answer is okay. But what is the extension where we have to learn in our A two level? Right. For example, if you want to differentiate y to the power n. The differentiation variable is x, but we need to differentiate y to the power n. How do we supposed to do this differentiation? This one also pretty simple. We use this technique to do this differentiation. That is what you learn under implicit differentiation. We can say d by dx of y to the power n is n y n minus one n y to the power n minus one into You need to differentiate y further. Therefore, this answer is this. Way. So you can. This is not one. Therefore, you need to write d y to the power n uh, d by dx of y to the power n become n y to the power n minus one into d y by dx. Later on, from a question, let's try to understand how does it happen. For example, if you want to differentiate d by d, uh, we will get uh, d. Without x, we will just put t something x to the power n. Now the differentiation variable is t, but the differentiation format is uh, x to the power n. So the answer is n x to the power n minus one into again into to differentiate this dx over dt. This would be your answer, right? Then let's go ahead with some example and let's try to understand that example, right? Let's see if you want to differentiate d by dx of y to the power three. Answer become three y to the power three minus one into d y by dx. So answer is three y squared d y by dx. That would be your answer for this differentiation. That is how you need to. Get the answer for this kind of a question. Do you have any doubts in this section? So no need of worrying uh, to writing this one. I'll be uploading the same video again in the evening. So uh, don't waste your time to uh, copying down this. Uh, uh, time to waste on copying down this. Yes, sir. Sir, we yeah, have to see. again if we need the last one, like to omit that uh, dy over dx. Yes, that is required for this. Again, we have to do. Huh? Yes, I will. Uh, when you come up with the question, you will understand what I mean for this. Just one second, right? Okay. okay. Give me two, two minutes, and you will understand how it comes. Right. Okay. Then let's go for a question that is the answer uh, which is relevant for you. What you ask, right? Okay. Now let's see what kind of questions they ask in this section. That is the important part where we need to understand. Right. Yeah, that is this board. This is the question they request. They used to give us a question like this, but they x to the power two uh, so x to the power three uh, plus four y squared is equals to six. Right? The question is find dy by dx. That is the question. Now let's see how to answer this question. So yeah, like. Uh, 
when we were in O level and uh, uh, AS level, we just did just like Y equals to something so straightforward. We'd be able to get this answer <coughs> dy by dx. But when you come up to this level, it's a now with a combination of a x and y function. For example, if I just add another factor over here, it equals to 6x or something. Just like 6x and I just a small addition plus 8y. Uh, the question is find dy by dx. Now, you cannot subject y. Other than that, in previous question, you may say that no, you can subject y and then do it. No. So, in, that, in this situation, we can understand that you cannot subject y by 2. Now let's do, do this differentiation. So if you do this, this is 2 into 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 into dx by dx. Actually speaking, if the differentiation variable and here you define d by dx, so we are working on the d by dx. If you do this, it is done up to d by dx of dx by dx is 1. Actually speaking, if the differentiation variable is a differentiation variable and it is the function. If the function and the differentiation variable is same, no need of finding this answer. So it's one. Right. Plus, you can say plus four times of if you differentiate y square, what would be the answer? 2y to the power 2 minus 1 dy by dx equals 6x. 6x means x to the power 1. So you can say 6 times of 1x, 1 minus 1, dx by dx. Actually speaking, no need of writing this. Why? Because here the differentiation variable is x and differentiation variable is x and the function also in terms of x. Plus 8y. 8 into 1 by 1 minus 1 dy by dx. That is the answer for that. Right. Okay. Now let's simplify this. This is 6x squared plus 8y 6x squared plus 8y uh, here you get dy by dx is equals to x to the power 0 is 1 therefore 6 this is uh, so this is 1 by 6 plus 8y to the power 0 is that one also put the 1 dy by dx so this is uh, y to the power 0 is 1 so this is the answer now you need to subject uh, dy by dx. Okay. I'll bring this term to this side and bring this term this side. So it will turn up to 8y dy by dx minus 8 dy by dx is equals to 6 minus 6x squared. Right. With this you can take dy by dx out. If you take dy by dx out it is 8y minus 8 is equal to 6 minus 6x squared. Right. With that you can write dy by dx is equal to 6 minus 6 squared divided by 8y minus 8. Right. So you can take uh, from here you can take 6 out 1 minus x squared you can take 8 out y minus 1 if you do some other simplification 3 1 minus x squared divided by 4y minus 1. That would be your final answer. Hope you understood. See whether, uh, just go through from beginning uh, and see whether, can you understand uh, how I did this part of this sum. Take a couple of minutes, uh, see whether can you understand how it comes. Now is it okay? Fadia? Yes, sir. Um, Amadushani? Yes, sir. Uh, Zilma, how about yours? Yes. Uh, Sanshia? Yes, sir, it's okay. Yes, right. Umar, how about you?
Kumar, are you there? Yes, sir. In, uh, yeah, right, okay. How about uh, Oshri? Now uh, I think, uh, is it clear? Uh, you're down? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's go into the other part of it today, right? Shall I reduce the drops? Yes. Now, uh, the next part is uh, how to use this caution rule and uh, this product rule in this uh, implicit differentiation. That is the next part where we need to understand. Suppose that they have, uh, we need to find d by dx of x, y, x into y, right? d by dx of x into y, right? D by dx of x into y. Then for this part of it, we need to use the product of two different functions. The product rule. I think you can remember the product rule. The product rule says if you want to differentiate two different functions u and v. u is a one function and v is a another function. Answer is keep u and differentiate v plus keep v and differentiate u. That is the answer for that. Right. Now we use the same fact of it. Right. So we keep x and differentiate y. Then keep y and differentiate x. Right. Then over here this is x. This is dy by dx. If you differentiate y is dy by dx plus keep y. Differentiation of x is 1. Therefore, your final answer is x dy by dx plus 1. That is the answer where we need to obtain. Yeah. See whether can you get that? Okay. Can I raise this? Nothing to worry with uh, writing the uh, writing this note. You will be receiving the uh, video at the end of the session. Right. Okay. Then, yeah. if it is a question like this, if you want to differentiate uh, 4 x to the power 6 y 3, how do you suppose to do it? Right. Okay. Now we will consider this means a one function. And this part is a another function. This part is as a another function. This is right. Then uh, you can use again the product rule. Uh, how to do this differentiation is keep the first function, then differentiate y to the power 3. Plus keep the second function y to the power 3 and differentiate the first function. Right. Then what you need to do is like this 4x to the power 6 into y to the power 3 differentiation. 3 y to the power 3 minus 1 again you need to differentiate y dy by dx plus y to the power 3 into 4. Uh, differentiation of x to the power 6 to the 4 into 6 x to the power 6 minus 1 into dx by dx is not of writing it because it's turned up to 1. So simply you can write the answer to well x6 y to the power 2 dy by dx plus 24 y to the power 3 x to the power 5 is the final answer for that. That is how we need to obtain this answer. Okay. Is there any doubts over here?
Yes. Now let's back to the next here. Uh, the next approach is to there how to apply quotient rule with this uh, implicit differentiation. That's the next part where we need to understand. Suppose that you need to differentiate x over y. Now we use the quotient rule. What the quotient rule says? Right, it's just like this. We know that if you differentiate u over v, answer is to square the denominator. Keep the denominator and differentiate numerator minus, this is a very important operation, keep the numerator and differentiate the denominator. That's how it comes to it. So we use the same technique over here, right? First we square the denominator. Square the denominator. Keep the denominator, square the denominator, keep the denominator and differentiate the numerator. Minus, keep the numerator, this is the numerator. Then differentiate the denominator. Y. Then you get the answer y dx by dx is 1 minus x, this is dy by dx over y square. Right. This is the final answer for that. Right. That's how you need to get that. Or if you want, you can just write y minus x dy by dx is over y squared is the final answer for that. Then, uh, if it comes in other way around, like this. If this is y over x, previously we do the x over y. Then, same theory, square the denominator. Keep the denominator and differentiate. Then you get the answer x divided by x minus this is 1. Divide by x squared would be the final answer. That is how you need to get it. Okay. Let's see if you can understand. <coughs> 